What do you think Dinah's gonna say? Think she's gonna confess? Reveal some deep, dark secret? Don't listen to war that woman says, Cassie. She only wants to hurt you. But I have to hear it. Mom! Really? What are you doing here? You should, she shouldn't be here. I you know. don't need to be I just, here. I needed to know. I needed to see. Cassie, we all need some closure. Are you okay? I heard about the fire. If Edmund hadn't saved Jeffrey oh, and fine. rescued you... We're, we're okay. We're okay. And Dinah can't hurt us, all right? She can't hurt us. Tammy, she's the one that got RJ out of the fire. What? Why? I don't know. I don't know. Cassie, why is she here? How long has she been here? I mean, has nobody seen her? Ross. What are you doing here? I changed my mind. I needed to be here. I wanted to make sure that Dinah got what was coming to her. Look, I'm sorry. I realize that she's your daughter. But Hart was my brother. Well, look at this. The gang's all here. Counselor, Dinah is not going to say anything. Not until she's had a lengthy conversation with her attorney. If she wants to speak, let her say something. Cassie, this can only go badly. Why don't I take the two of you home? I need to be here, Edmund, for my own peace of mind. And for heart. Same here. No. No, no, no. You don't. Honey, you, you went through something very traumatic. I don't want you dredging all that up. If you can handle it, Mom, I can handle it. Your mother may be right, Tammy. I'm staying. Dinah, in this atmosphere, you are not going to get a fair hearing. If she wanted a fair hearing, she should have stuck around after she killed Hart, instead of running away that, that, like the coward that she is. What? What are you looking at? Look, Miss Marlowe, we're very grateful that you saved RJ, but I think it's time we all let the legal process run its course and not cause anyone else any more pain. I don't want to cause any more pain. I'd like to end it. Dinah, please, don't. Let her talk. Jeffrey. Ms. Marlowe's been read her rights. If she wants to make a statement against the advice of counsel, I can't stop her. However, I would Thank suggest... Thank you, Mr. O'Neill. Thank you. But I do wish to make a statement. And I'd like to begin by thanking all of you for being here. I know it must be difficult to um, see me right now and be reminded of a very painful time for all of us. A time that I wish I could go back and change, but unfortunately, I can't. None of us can change the mistakes we've made. All we can do now is admit them and pray for understanding. All the years I was hiding in Europe, I wasn't just running from the law. I was running from myself, from all the pain I had caused. And I kept seeing the moment that I pulled that trigger play over and over in my mind. I saw your face when you walked into the room your face and heart's face and what it had done to you <clears throat> daddy and what it had done to Bill and mom notice how she leaves me out Blake I promise you I felt terrible for you too I couldn't bear who I had become I want it to be someone else. And financially, I needed to survive. So when I had the opportunity to impersonate you, I grabbed it. What opportunity? How? Well, let's just say I work for the United States government and I have a proposal for you. What sort of proposal? Oh, the normal kind. You see, I need a wife. Your husband, the prince, died. And you came back to Springfield to live again. So the role of princess was vacant. I figured I knew you well enough to impersonate you. And as long as I kept a low enough profile in Europe, you'd never catch on. But when you, when you were on to me, and you 
figured it out and everything fell apart, I couldn't live with myself. So it was either kill myself or come clean and try to regain some kind of dignity. Why didn't you turn yourself in the second you got into town, Dinah? Blake, I had to go out to the farm to take one last look around before I turned myself in. And when I got there, when I saw the barn, what I saw was horrible. Jay, he was stranded in the loft. Cassie was pinned beneath a beam. And I said to myself, well, huh, here it goes. What do I do? Do I just um, run and have one more thing to regret? Or do you stay and help? And in some way hope that can make up for all of the sorrow I've caused. So I grabbed RJ, ran through the flames, and uh, went out to get help for Cassie because I knew I couldn't get her out of there on my own. That's some story. Well, it's the truth. And now that I've told everything, I, I obviously am going to take whatever punishment a judge and jury come out with, but I want to be the only one punished here. I don't want to drag other people through the mud. What other people? We're only human. We have our loyalties. And sometimes uh, love can be so consuming, so ferocious, it makes you do terrible, terrible things. Things that can only hurt the people we love the most. Well, you still love to jerk people around, don't you? What's with that statement you just made? I'm sure you can figure it out. Well, I can't. I have no idea what you're talking about, Dinah. She is talking about me. I've known for several weeks that she was in town. I just didn't say anything. Daddy, don't. No, Dinah, it's all right, sweetheart. Because I'd gladly do it all over again, even if it cost me the mayor's office. It was worth it. Are you telling me that you knew she was in town and you protected her? She's well, my daughter. The whole time he was urging me to do the right thing, to come clean, and it was because of your faith and your support that I had the strength to do just that. We need to talk. You've heard enough. Ms. Marler, if you'll come with me, please. Thank you. That was quite a performance. Yeah, it's frightening, isn't it? If I wanted to just now, I could have ruined you. And I still could. When are you going to learn to stop threatening me? Oh, I'm not. I'm just saying I know a whole lot about you, Jeffrey, especially about you impersonating Richard. I could inadvertently let something slip to Cassie so easily. Inadvertently? Yeah. The prospect of a trial, prison, very short. All right, cut to the chase. What do you want? I want my freedom. I can't just let you go. You're a felon. I also saved Cassie and RJ from burning to death. You gave me my freedom once, Jeffrey. You can do it again. I want to start clean, and so do you. Whether you like it or not, we need each other. We're a team again. No, I don't think so. As a matter of fact, everything I do from now on is going to be for Cassie Winslow. That's right. To make sure that she's protected and safe. You're on your own. Take her to her cell. Be all right, Cassie. That's okay. Give us a minute, okay? Yeah. Do you need a shower? You were really sweating there earlier. Relax, big man. Your secret's safe with me. Unless you don't convince Cassie to do the right thing. If doing the right thing means doing your bidding, you can forget about it. <laughs> 